we want to actually solve this problem and close the gap. And, and so the, the solution is actually adopting a common model for software at our organization. And, and it's going to be a little bit different for every organization because some organizations may be selling the software that we're building. Other organizations may be using the software to automate a lot of the services that we provide for the customer, or some of the software may be, uh, may be only used by employees internal to the company. Uh, so we recognize there's those differences, but we actually do need that model. We do need the process that serves all sides. And uh, certainly companies that are, are made or broken by technology products that have had to get this right. Otherwise, the company would not be around. But there's so many companies that over time, um, it becomes a good idea to write an internal program. And so one developer is hired at some point, you know, long ago. And then over time, okay, a second developer was hired and a third developer was hired and fourth and, and so on. But then there was the gap all the way up to the C-level executives, and that gap was, was never filled. And so a common process is going to be able to be measured and controlled. And essentially, executives have to be able to measure and control every function of the company. That's their job. Um, it's not a bad thing. That's their job. But the process also has to work well for the people who are in the process so that it creates motivation and engagement for the developers um, create not just a, a, a good working environment so that um, there's good retention, but also one that makes the software great. And the people on the hook for building the software are succeeding, are winning, are shipping things fast, and it's getting faster and faster and better instead of just this, this drudgery of pressure. When you, when you talk about closing the gap, I don't think you're suggesting something that's new just for IT. If we step back for a moment and think about it in abstract, we, we do this with all the other departments. Uh, an accountant might have a certain particular software that they're using or a challenge. Well, when you at the end of the month, when you recognize, oh, we have journal entries. Okay, a CEO can understand what that is and what impact that has on a financial statement. You've got a P&L sheet. Or if you're talking about in your warehouse, fill rates. And we have language that allows the specificity of a job or a function like operations or accounting or marketing to be communicated and understood at other levels. We need the same types of things here. So what we're talking about isn't a new or novel solution to deal with developers. What we're saying is bring the developers and your communication with them alongside all of the other departments that we're currently interacting with. And, and there's a long history of accounting and there's a really long history of marketing that creates these kind of communication pathways. We're suggesting the same thing can be done with your development team. And it's relatively new that everybody's had developers on staff or, or outsourced development partners, but we can create a framework which is not too dissimilar from how it works with accounting, finance, marketing, product development, insert to any department you want. There's a relationship that happens and how do you communicate and close that gap? It already has been done. Let's just follow the model that has worked with other departments.